Hello everyone, welcome to my today's video. I'm gonna show you how to quickly create your own cloud download site using the GitHub project and DocHub's Docker template to create your own Docker image and uh, set up uh, properly to download in your web resources. It support HTTP, HTTPS, FTP, usually WGET and curl all those things to do. And also it's a great BitTorrent client, uh, which is the name is uh, Alia2. And we're going to have Alia NG installed as well. Uh, Archeron going to be used to transfer the finished files to Google Drive. And Caddy going to give us a nice web interface. So all GitHub project has been posted here in my blog. You will see the link in the video description. Um, there's, a, there's a very detailed instruction how to run this Docker. And I'm going to show you all steps one by one to guide you to build this amazing downloading site. So the environment I'm going to use is um, basic um, CentOS 8 environment. I have been using it to create in my Potainer website. So I already installed the uh, Potainer and Jinx and the Watchtower, those three Docker containers in this um, VM. It's a cloud VPS. You can see the public IP. And the container is fully functional right now. I'm mapping the domain name potainer1.51sec.u.org to this potainer public IP and port using NGINX as a reverse proxy. You will find uh, my previous video to show you all those steps, how to install those components. That's a pretty requirement. So you do need those, uh, those basic things to be installed. Docker, Potainer, NGINX. Uh, the firewall port has to be open for this lab. 8000 has to be open as well. I will post all links into video description so you will find the links and then you can watch those videos first and then come to set this up based on the instruction from this docker image for aria 2 aria ng plus fire manager are clone um, there's a quick run docker run so if your Linux machine is, hasn't been installed, Nginx, any other uh, web server installed, then you can directly run. But for my case, I already have Nginx using port 80 and port 43, so I have to make some changes. I also have some requirement, which I like to um, get it uh, done by modifying a Docker command. So I like to change the port to 8000. That's why I want you to uh, open this file port 8000 first. And I want to have a basic authentication for my downloading site. I don't want anyone can directly log in to see what I'm downloading and the, what the, they can create in their own task to downloading to mess up my website. Um, after downloading, I want to, I want all finished files will be moved to cloud, cloud Google Cloud Drive, such as Google Drive. I want to do that, which is I'm gonna using Archeron. Uh, in this Docker, they have built in Archeron in there, but I'm not gonna use in that. I'm gonna disable that. I'm gonna install Archeron on my Docker host. So that will be at my next video to show you that in this video i'm going to show you basic 
uh, Docker installation and the full website going to be up and running. You can download it and you can use domain to access to it. So Nginx will be used as a reverse proxy. We are going to use in Cloudflare to create our domain rec A record and Nginx will be uh, acting as a reverse proxy for our domain access to this port 8000. So let's start it. So here is a Docker command we can use. You can use Potainer to do that as well, but the Docker command seems like much easier to do in this way. Uh, eventually, once you run this command, uh, Potainer gonna also gonna be able to manage it. So right now, in our Potainer, we we can see three containers. From the command line, you also can see those three containers. It's running on different ports. A TAT is our watchtower, but it's not using that. It's not mapped into the host. It's a local port. Uh, for Nginx, they're using port 80 and port 3. It's mapped into the host already. For the container using the 9000, it's already mapped into the host. So let's paste our command. The blog post link will be in video description. You can get the link and directly do things in just copy uh, this command into your Linux machine. Something you can change is the username and password. You can change that. Or if you have different ports, you can change that as well. Copy. Paste. Enter. Talk PS. You can see the health status is starting. And uh, you can refresh container list. You will see area 2 UI is starting. So it will be running on port 8000. The container is starting right now. We can create a new tab and uh, try port 8000 using a public IP. It will prompt you to enter username and password, of course. Since we enable the basic authentication, we put username and password in the command, in the docker run command. So we have to type in the username and password. Then we log it in. As you can see, right now there's nothing been downloaded. In. We have our Fire browser website available on a folder files. It will ask your username and password. Default username password is admin admin. You can go to the settings to make your change your to a new password. Right now there's no files there. Great. So basically it's up and running. It's running on port 8000. Now our next step is we're going to configure our Nginx to do reverse proxy for this website. So we already have configuration for Potainer. We can copy Potainer configuration to earlier alio2.ui configuration and we can uh, modify it so just change the name to let's do using download simple to remember the port is 8000 K X Yes, save it. Uh, one thing then we need to start a service and jinx start. The reason why it cannot be found out earlier too, 
as you are here that is because um, we didn't join the same network so we have to change the network from default bridge to my bridge so after we join the my bridge network we can leave the bridge network in this case we will be able to use Docker container's name as a host name to uh, visit it. So now it's working. We're gonna configure our Cloudflare. We're gonna create a um, new record. Download. Save, that's the public IP. Let's try to access our website. It's giving us error message. That means something not configured correctly. Most likely it will be on our engine's configuration. Area to you, so we don't need to touch for three. The port number I put 8000, that's a mapped host port, but right now we are using port 80 in the on a container, so we have to change it to port 80. Now you can save it Get to X, yes. And service engine start. Refresh it again. Now it's up. So it's connected. We can see all your status. We already put the configuration port 8000 here. So we're gonna use in port 8000 using the WebSocket protocol RPC protocol to, to connection now let's give it try to see downloading we cannot download in uh, let's try from image let's try to download in any image let's copy image address New. So the nice, the nicest thing for Alia Two is it support BitTorrent. It support multiple files. It support multiple sessions and also multiple part downloading. They can simultaneously to downloading multiple parts of the uh, files to utilize all your bandwidth. So it's very fast, and uh, also you can. Downloading multiple files as well. Let's copy the image address and then I'm pasting here. That's a different one, so we can try a different one. That's not right. Copy image address. That should work. Let's download now. You can see both finished. Once we finish downloading, we can go back to our files. Admin, admin to take a look at final downloading downloaded files. You can double click to if it's a video, you can directly watch it. If it's an audio, you can play directly from the web browser and for photos double click and you can see it so eventually those downloaded files are gonna be moved to the Google Drive since Google Drive has a much larger space that's my target for the, I will show you how to do that in next uh, video and also we can configure our file browse to manage that the Google Drive folder or you can use GD index, which is in my previous video 
long time ago, a couple of months ago, I will show you how to create your own GD index um, web server to show your Google Drive files. That will work as well. So that's pretty much for this video. video. Uh, I will see you in next video to show you a second part of how to build your own downloading website. Thank you.